Living with a disability doesn't have to be sad or unfortunate. Growing up as someone who had a disability, it was very important for me to mentor other kids. I wanted to be the mentor that I never had. When I was 10 months old, I was diagnosed with this condition known as congenital bowing of the tibia and pseudoarthrosis of the fibula. The doctor would tell my parents that amputation really was the only definitive treatment. My parents didn't want to make the choice to amputate my leg for me. They wanted me to make that decision on my own. So as a kid, I didn't want to be called disabled. I didn't want to be different. I wanted to be just like everyone else. I was on crutches for close to 19 years. I had over 20 surgeries in high school. So medicine was always something on my mind in terms of a career that I decided that I wanted to pursue an MD-PhD and practice medicine while also looking into avenues to cure conditions much like my own. For my PhD, I joined the lab of Dr. Julie Seacomb. She taught me how to analyze things critically. She told me that I was capable of achieving anything that I set my mind to, and she really was the one who got me to where I am today. The focus of my research is trying to understand how this gene called KDM5C functions within the brain and how it can control neuronal development and function. There are kids out there who have mutations in this gene that have a wide range of cognitive difficulties. It occurred to me that I could invite some of these families for an event that we hold every year called Rare Disease Day. Meeting these families showed me that I really had to take care of myself before I was able to effectively take care of others. And I knew that amputation of my leg was something that my doctor had mentioned to me early on. And so I decided to schedule my amputation for the following month. This was such a difficult decision for me and one that I had avoided for most of my life. And now having the maturity to make this decision and no longer be in chronic pain and having taken those first steps without crutches was just one of the greatest feelings I ever experienced. I started volunteering with the Limbkind Foundation, which supports children with congenital and acquired limb loss and limb differences. So playing basketball with these kids was just an extraordinary experience. And I wanted to be that mentor for them. I wanted to be the mentor that I never had. I have also been able to make friends with people my own age who grew up with limb differences. We all embrace our disability. And so now I'm able to identify with the community something that I've never really been able to do. My goal is to treat children who have neurodevelopmental conditions and to also run my own lab. And I eventually want to be able to develop therapeutic strategies to help cure the conditions that are currently incurable.